presidentship of uh, SAFA that we should we are the first to announce a regional sustainability award. Please do this. I am sure that uh, the first such award may be in Islamabad or maybe in Karachi next year. This should be one major request from my side. The second and the important request I uh, place before you, where ICAP and ICM maybe should play a major role, I am going to touch on that. Something called integrated reporting discussion has come as a paper. It has been globally released as a discussion paper on September 13th, where all the global bodies, not only accounting bodies, NGOs, uh, wildlife groups, and all other stakeholder groups have all been asked to comment on this integrated reporting where the first discussion paper closed on December 14th. Now in that, there are six forms of capital which this integrated reporting says a sustainable company should measure. In the six forms of capital, one is the financial capital which has as its pillars the IFRS framework because it's a financial related. All other remaining high capitals on which there should be value creation from a body if it has to be sustainable, please mind you, are not accountancy related. We are all non-accounting or you can say, I am calling it as a management accounting related. So this ICAP and ICMAP should take the lead in coming out with measurement models of the remaining five capital which are very dicey. Yakutsar <laughs> may recall that we have made this point in the Toronto meeting that the remaining five capitals are very dicey and they don't have proper measurement shaped up. And today the other global bodies are trying to do something. Before the West comes up with a model and tells all the world should follow this, I dream, it's my dream, that a, a team led by ICAP and ICMAP come up with this measurement models on these five models and say, this is how we should measure the remaining five models and this is our contribution to the world. If we are able to go up on such thought leadership processes, I am 100% sure that we will be dominating the accounting space as thought leaders in the days to come. With these two suggestions to ICAP and ICMAP that I am sure knowing the leadership of both bodies, they would take all these things very seriously and, and certainly I would back them with all my whatever limited intellectual capability I have, I will do support them in this initiative. Uh, with this request, let me quickly uh, go through my uh, presentation. Only thing is uh, the inability of looking at the laptop from such a distance is going to be really terrific. <laughs> <laughs> my god, I am not able to. If you have any call or mic, I can go down and see and uh, also able to. Or some hand mic. You move the slide, no problem. Actually, I wanted to spend uh, at least 15 minutes on uh, giving uh, content relating to the sustainability, but knowing the time limitation, and uh, this is a function which has got a glitter and a glamour, and we need to cherish the award winners, and we need to extol them, and this event is meant for that. So let me compress my presentation and just give you the gist of it. I won't take more than maybe five to eight minutes. But let me tell you what I wanted to speak. Next slide. No, before that, there is one content, one slide before. Ah, these are all the major points I wanted to speak to all of you today. They are all not sustainability issues at a very, very broad sphere, where the sustainability domain interfaces with every one of us, where there is an accounting interface with sustainability. In that intersection, what developments today, it has, they have happened in the world. I just wanted to speak to you on that, because it's a very important update for professional accountants like us. In that that intersection, I wanted to speak to you on this uh, six bullet points. One, the sustainability framework of the International Federation of Accountants, which the professional accountants in business committee, where myself and uh, Yaku we serve. What is that framework is all about? I wanted to speak on that. Second, there is a very recent survey of the Boston Consulting Group on sustainability. The outcome of that. Third, there is an organization called Prince of Wales organization, which is 
accounting for sustainability called A4S. The two videos which you saw, or at least the second video which you saw, Costing the Earth, which is a contribution of the Prince of Wales Organization of Accounting for Sustainability. In that Prince of Wales Organization, where are the key highlights which bring out the limitations of the current accounting model, which does not account for sustainability? A very interesting set of points. The latest in the field of sustainability, which is on the discussion paper on integrated reporting, which is a September 2000 level development. Then how SAFA is focusing on sustainability? We are not behind. We have been on this for the last two and a half to three years. It's it's not as if we are knee-jerk reaction now. The last two to three years, with the support of uh, Rafi Saab and ICAP and I ICANN, we have been doing a lot of work on this. And lastly, I wanted to congratulate ICAP and ICMAP having done something in this space. Now, the last bullet point I am skipping. In the rest, let me only touch the excerpts. Go ahead. Next. The, 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 please go into the IFAC website and from there, please navigate into the IFAC's uh, sustainability framework. This has got three components. We are not talking of reporting. How sustainability should be embedded into an organization. So only if an organization becomes sustainable, it will have a very good value of reporting. Reporting comes later, but being sustainable comes first. Being sustainable consists of these three elements. One, how to integrate it into the business strategy. Second, integrating sustainability into operations. And third, what should be the process towards a very good sustainability reporting. These are the three elements of the sustainability framework. In the business strategy, this framework brings out how sustainability is defined and a business case is established. Like for example, Hoji Fertilizers is in a particular business model. It is in a particular business. The way it uses ingredients, the way it delivers products to the farmers, instead of doing it as a pure business, how it is integrating that into the sustainability by addressing the environmental and CSR factors, that is addressed in the first. And subsequently, how once you identify the business case, how the leadership demonstrates its vision and integrates into the day-to-day -day strategic management, it engages the stakeholder. Like for example, one, one solid example I can give because I am seeing a similar case in, in India in the form of ITC. Like a typical Fauci fertilizers, even deciding the ingredients, it declares the farmer as a stakeholder who is ultimate user. It declares farmer as a stakeholder. A very defined process comes wherein the farmer contributes the ingredients requirement and that flows into the design of the inputs also. And that is not done superficially. They are very serious in a typical sustainable integrated business model. Engaging the stakeholders within that target and goal setting, integrating it with the risk management and engaging the supply chain. This is where I said Mr. Hanif Azari has created a beautiful piece of model in what is called as a sustainable supply chain which needs to be posted to the world knowledge of uh, uh, the, this particular framework. The second component of sustainability, next slide, relates to looking at it from an operational perspective. It can be in terms of cutting cost by minimizing waste, how it gets integrated with sustainability, carbon footprinting and becoming carbon positive, improving the information to the support decision making and reporting process, establishing the integrated control systems towards that and measuring the performance and KPAs. But please remember, when I am talking of here strategy and operational, it is not purely environmental. As Madam rightly pointed out, sustainability means different to different regions. Some regions, the environment is halved. But at least, at, as far as South Asian region is concerned, we are not the major polluters of the world. It is the arm Admi's livelihood, the reduction of the poverty levels, the increase in prosperity, taking the society together, becoming more inclusive is a prime focus of sustainability, of course, without forgetting the environmental factors. They get embedded into the strategy and operation. Once it is done, then comes a reporting perspective. Like each jurisdiction, each area can have its own jurisdiction. Let us not forget it. Developing an organizational reporting strategy of sustainability, you will find I am going to give to Rahim Evaluating Committee Chairman two reports of very good sustainable organizations who are in the 10th or the 11th report in their lifetime as one of the good, uh, two benchmarks of a good sustainable reporting. How they develop a strategy for reporting, reflecting the sustainability impact in financial statements. It is not uh, most of the financial statements, IFRS standards do not comprehensively address sustainability issues. But you have to impose that in the financial impact.